Hey guys, Carol Sift here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Versus Vehicle Series Deluxe Trigger Machine Splash from Kaito Sentai Lupon Ranger versus Kesat Sentai Pad Ranger. This is a new Versus Vehicle that can be used with either the Versus Changer or be combined with other Versus Vehicles. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at Trigger Machine Splash on its own. So, as is easily distinguishable, this is based on a fire truck. As such, it's mainly red, black, and silver. It's got some nice painted windows here. You have a lot of nice molding for the ladder and a hose at the end. We got the Pad Ranger symbol down there. 06 on side, continuing the trend of these being numbered. We got an extra part here in the body. Then the trigger back here. And the wheels. So, of course, being a trigger machine, to change it into attack mode, we need to pull the trigger which will raise up the ladder. Then we can stand it out. And there we have the attack mode. And here we can get a better look up at the part on the inside, which is actually a fire hydrant, or rather a fire extinguisher. And that's got some nice black, yellow, and gold paint on it. Now for eagle-eyed viewers, this might look somewhat familiar, and that's because parts of this first vehicle were recycled from Trigger Machine Crane. As you can see, it sh shares most of the body, with the cab section being entirely the same, but with different paint. The bomb section and trigger also being the same. Something that is different, though, is the wheel wells, in that for Trigger Machine Crane, they have a curved angle to them, whereas there's a bit more of a sharp curve to them on Trigger Machine Splash. With that being said, they did entirely replace the top part that moves with something else, but it is a little bit disappointing to see parts of one of the new versus vehicles being recycled from a previous one. With the exception of the Hammer Dial Fighter, which was just a campaign exclusive. Next, we can use Trigger Machine Splash with the versus changer. So that activates the Kesat's boost, and we can repeat that sound by pulling the trigger. Then we activate the summoning. And the summoning phrase for this one is Gekiryu Mecha, which means something along the lines of Torrential Extinguishing. Next, let's combine Trigger Machine Splash with Pat Kaiser. So to do that, we're going to need to remove Trigger Machine Ichigo and Trigger Machine Sango. Then, we'll come to Trigger Machine Splash, open up, and remove the fire extinguisher. Then close that down and extend out the hose. Then we'll attach that as the new arm. Next, we're going to take the extinguisher, open it up like this, flip up this head part, and spin around this part on top. Then open up these two side panels, and then drop it on the top. And here we have Pat Kaiser Splash. So let's take a look. Getting a close at the new head, you can see it has a cool blue visor. Of course, it has the Pad Ranger symbol on its forehead with a mouthpiece. And the uh, kind of water hose piece on the top makes it slightly, uh, slightly reminiscent of Siren Builder from Gogo Sentai Bokenger. Then you have the chest plate, where we have this main part in the center with the gold 
We have the side panels with some nice metallic blue, and the Pad Ranger symbol in red. And I think this chest piece works better than the one for Lupin Kaiser Magic because it covers up a lot more of this section, whereas the one for Lupin Kaiser Magic was a little bit shorter and so it didn't cover up the entire piece and did leave some of the rail exposed. Then we also have the arm with the hose here. And so it's basically very similar to the uh, Trinitine Crane arm from Pat Kaiser Strong. Now if we want to, we can also make an alternate version of this by just compacting the hydrant, or extinguisher rather, putting it back into the arm, then attaching the trailer machine Ichigo for a more traditional looking version of this combination. Well, now we have a fuller arm on this side. Alternatively, we can recover it with this head. Then remove Trader Machine Nego and bring in Magic Dial Fighter. to create Pat Kaiser Splash Magic. And here's where I get the elephant in the room. Now you guys have been noticing that I haven't exactly gone the way that the show has used this vehicle thus far. And that's because in the show, for whatever reason, they decided that instead of this rightfully being given to the Pat Rangers, it would be basically stolen by the Lupin Rangers and the Pat Rangers just kind of let them have it. So the combination that you actually see in the show is Lupin Kaiser Splash Magic. Something I'm not all too fond of. That being said, with that combination being used, I personally prefer to, instead of using the Creative Machine Splash Head, instead take that, put back, and switch in the one from Magic Dial Fighter. To give more of a Lupin Ranger feel. But of course, with the way this series works, you have a lot more freedom, and so you don't necessarily have to do the combinations that they uh, you see in the show. And I do feel that this combination works better for Lupin Kaiser, whereas the other one works better for Pat Kaiser. And there we go. So overall, I have mixed feelings about Trigger Machine Splash. On the one hand, I really like it as a versus vehicle, partially because it's based on a fire truck, and I've always had fondness for them since I was a kid. And it also it does have some cool sounds with the versus changer, and does make for cool combinations thanks to the new headpiece. On the other hand, I do think it's disappointing that it has some parts that are recycled from Trigger Machine Crane, because that's something I haven't really done much in this line. And Pretty much only doing so with the main kind of deluxe series with the campaign exclusive Hammer Dial Fighter, whereas every other one had a pre-original mold. And while I can get why they did, I wish they had done more to make them different from each other. The other thing that disappoints me is more to do with the show and how this is mainly used by the Lupin Rangers because I feel like that goes against the core principle of the series and kind of what they set out or laid out in the beginning where the dial fighters would go to the Lupin Rangers and the Trigger Machines would go to the Pat Rangers. I also don't like it because it kind of goes against the core principle of the series which was that it was supposed to have two different Sentai teams in the same series that would be treated equally and this is definitely not equal because it starts to further go into a certain bit of favoritism towards the Lupin Rangers that I don't think is there and the reason for that being that you know, this is the series for both of these. It's not like one of them appeared in a past series, and so they can afford to have less focus. I feel like they really should be treated equally with their different kind of power-ups and upgrades and extra things that they get be just, you know, evenly split across the two teams. Thankfully, though, with this toy line, you know, I can kind of ignore that and 
just do the combinations for the Pad Rangers just to kind of bypass that, but it is still a little bit disappointing and somewhat upsetting. That being said, if you're collecting versus vehicles and this appeals to you, I can definitely recommend picking this up. Next time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Drive Ride Watch, Tuesday at 6pm PST. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.